Actually, most of us know what direct variation is. It is just the name that scares us. The name direct variation does sound scary. Here's an example to understand it. One book costs 10 rupees. So how much will two books cost? Two books will cost 2 multiplied by 10, that is 20 rupees. We multiplied the cost of one unit to the number of units. And similarly, three books will cost 3 multiplied by 10, that is 30 rupees. You can see that as the number of books increases, the total cost also increases by the same factor. This is called direct variation. Wasn't it simple? Let's erase this and form a table so that you can understand better. In the first row, we have the number of books and in the second row, we have the total cost. For one book, the cost is 10 rupees. For two books, the total cost is 20 rupees. For three books, the total cost is 30 rupees and so on. Now let us form a new row to write the ratio of number of books to the total cost. We will find this ratio for each of the five cases. The ratios we get will be very interesting. In the first case, the number of books is 1 and the cost is 10. Hence, the ratio is 1 by 10. In the second case, the number of books is 2 and the total cost is 20. Hence, the ratio is 2 by 20. Look at these two ratios carefully. What's special about them? Yes, they are the same. This ratio can be written as 1 by 10 if the numerator and the denominator are divided by 2. So let's erase this and write this as 1 by 10. In the third case, the ratio is 3 by 30. This can again be reduced to 1 by 10. And similarly, in all the cases, the ratio will be 1 by 10. The ratio of the number of books to the cost will remain a constant. It is always equal to 1 by 10. This is direct variation. Let's understand it in terms of variables. Let the number of books be y and let the cost of books be x. This ratio will then be y by x. Hence, we can write y by x is equal to 1 by 10, which is a constant. Now you know where the constant comes from. Many students study direct variation as y by x is a constant, but have no idea what the constant is. If we multiply both sides by x, we get y is equal to 1 by 10x. This is another way in which direct variation is studied. y is equal to kx, where k is a constant. Remember, this constant can have any numerical value. In this example, if one book would have cost 20 rupees, then the constant would have been 1 by 20.